look kind of like a beatnik from the 1960s going to a poetry slam. <laughs> All right, we are in Humboldt and we are going to check out their thrift shop, The Good Neighbor. And I just went to a little sale that was going on in someone's yard and picked up some really great pieces of antique and vintage there. So I will show you everything that I got from that sale in a haul video but now we are going to go and do some thrifting so let's go on inside and see what we can find all right what are we going to find in here today usually we have some pretty great little treasures that's 1980 Goodness, look at this little squirrel. Oh, little nut. Squirrel on a nut. It is probably a hobbyist piece made in Malfort. <laughs> That's pretty cute. This is only $3, but I do have a couple of these already. There's a couple little chips. So not a lot of room for resale, I don't think, because it is a hobbyist piece. Well, it is adorable. I'm gonna leave that one behind. These are made in China. This is Teleflora gifts made in Portugal. This is a pretty little jar. I guess you would put maybe potpourri or something in there. It's pretty. Yeah. Well, that is a nice 
fun little handmade piece. A lot of age. It's 50 cents. It's really pretty. <coughs> It's made in China. I like this marble piece right here. It's two dollars. It's very heavy. Made in India. Wow, it's super heavy. I think it's a little bit too heavy and quite expensive to ship that. That is pressed glass. It's not blown glass. It doesn't have a very nice quality feel to it. There's a nice brass vase. That's interesting. I've never seen one like this. Two dollars. I'm going to grab this one. This one does have a mark on it. It's kind of interesting. It's got an interesting shape. It's only two fifty. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna think about that one. Mm -hmm. That one's pretty. I thought maybe this was Mexican pottery. It kind of looks almost like Ken Edwards, but there's no signature on it. They only want a dollar. I like the bird and flower design. So I'm going to grab this one for a dollar. Oh. I mean, they're glassware and their glassware is really cheap. I think they are about a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar per glass. I spotted these ones. These are really nice mid-century glasses made by Dominion. There's four of them. I'm going to assume that they are a dollar per glass. So I'm going to grab these ones. This is a vintage set. I'm not sure who makes this set. It's only $9 for this whole set, but not something that I want to ship or deal with, but it's definitely fun. Really fun glaze on it. Pottery. It is a signed piece. Just a studio art pottery, but I like the glaze and the shape of it. I like the top. 250, so I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, look what I just spotted. 
is a nativity set from Bolivia made in 2000 and it is adorable and that would be considered vintage so I'm going to pick up this whole set for ten dollars it is so cute check out this fabulous vintage hide bed <laughs> I love the pattern on it. That is really fun. It's only $80. Unfortunately, I have nowhere to put it and hide beds are extremely heavy. But that is so fun. These are the willow tree. These are not vintage. So I could not sell them in my shop. Kind of a neat fish wood wall decor. Dollar fifty. It's vintage. You can tell by the back. It's kind of neat. I might as well grab that for a dollar fifty. And this piece does have a little chip on the top there. But this sign. I don't know. I think I'll leave it with that chip. Check out this great. Is this a sewing rack? Is that what you would call it? This plastic is kind of in a little bit rough shape and it's a little bit dirty, but I'm only asking $2 for it. I really like the wood on it. It's a pretty neat piece. But I think I will leave it for someone else. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs and see what they got up here. I can usually find some treasures up here. Oh, that is, I am not sure what that is. Someone painted on a print. Interesting. The Last Supper. Not the nicest frame, but the print is really nice. I love the colors in it. They have the nicest religious pieces here. I always find one up here, always. <laughs> Every time I go up here, there's one. So it's only $2, so I'm going to grab it, and I will probably reframe it. Love the colors. So I got a few pieces of wood here in the wood section and this little teak dishes. Only a dollar fifty for all of them. I think there's like eight of them in there. I don't know. What would you use these for, these little dishes? So small. It's a really nice salad bowl set. This is Canadian made. I can't read exactly what that says. Like Barbado or something. It's made in Canada. Really nice wood piece, but really heavy. I think I will pass today on that one. That's a pretty spoon. <laughs> a lot of nativity scenes. Nativity sets in here today. This one is really interesting. Kind of hard to see with my shadow here, but it's got trees and 
quite heavy. Asking 20 for that one, 20 for this one. This one is really heavy as well. It's too bad my shadow is in the way. It's not the best light right here. I think I'm going to grab this one for $5. It is made in Italy. And back there. Oh, that goes with it. No, nope, that piece does not go with it. I'm going to set it there. <laughs> No, is that broken? Nope, the ear is just back a bit. So I'm gonna grab this one for $5. It's not too heavy, it wouldn't be too bad to ship. And it's made in Italy, so that's cool. All right, I'm gonna have a quick look through the jackets and see if I can find maybe a winter coat or a sweater this is extra small that would be nice and warm looks like it's in nice condition i love these sweaters so i'm gonna grab this one so wendell just brought me this poncho over and it's four dollars and it's pretty fun pretty wild and crazy so it's got a zipper hood and it's definitely vintage so i'm gonna grab this and then we're gonna head out of here all right i got some great vintage items in there and my total was 47 dollars. and i got a whole box of really great stuff and I will do a haul and show you everything that I got from the Good Neighbor Thrift Store, as well as the antique stuff that I got from that little sale that was in someone's yard. And we are off to Lanigan to do some more thrifting, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. And so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.